ยอดจองขอเชิญขอเจอเนาะตอลูกของหอกุตุตาเอ่อสังวิสแกนเซนเอ่อบลูเบย์เอเดียวิสแกนเซนม้องลาวเวทเรอร์ออฟอเมริก
เงาบนที่นุกัวเตอะวะเรเปยยอชิยอชิริจากุเตเปตองกาออนเนเปจอกุตุตอติเตอะตอชิตอสินชาดอนเนพุนาปอนอเชนอนยงลาเลเอนุ
เจลโมกัวตาละคิดจันทร์ออฟราเคอร์นาจิงกาวเนอร์แล้วที่มาโชว์รายได้ตัวโชว์รายได้ตัวเจนันเดลเลอร์ได้ไซเทคชั่นออ
2023. And thank you uh, for your service, your sacrifice uh, for our country, for democracy and freedom. We will never, never forget you. And given this uh, 27 uh, August uh, year 2023, Sai Bai, Lieutenant uh, Shui Chong, Vishkan Chen Mong Lao, um, of the American Corporation in President. The Sai Bai President Wang Chong Wang, and uh, Sai of General Wang Pao. It is a certificate of the Sai Bai President Wang Chong Wang, Okay, they that's a real to cover the citation to the family. And thank you for coming back. Thank you, Mishila. And uh, thank you, everyone. And first and foremost, my sincere condolences to you, your family, for the loss of such an inspirational leader like Shua. You know, it's, it's amazing. It wasn't until about the turn of this last century that we Americans started to appreciate some of our veterans from the Vietnam War. Before that, it seemed like we would ignore or not give them the proper service like we were embarrassed. But for some reason, it changed. Now, that worked for the American veteran of the Vietnam War, but for the brother and ally that were with us, with our Hmong Lao allies, that hasn't materialized as well as the rest. And that's why it's so important to be able to honor folks like your father, and other veterans for their service. Because uh, the federal government might be dropping the ball and recognizing it, but here in the state of Wisconsin, we wanna do all we can to help that. That's why right now we uh, have a, a bill in our assembly that will allow our Hmong Lao veterans to have a Vietnam veteran on their Wisconsin driver's license. We uh, also have a bill that's been through the assembly that will move on hopefully to the Senate that will uh, allow public schools to teach the history of the transportation over from Laos to the United States. That beautiful video tribute, I would love to be able to take that and put it into our American classrooms because it exemplifies everything that the Hmong Lao folks have done. As young as 10 or 11 years old fighting in the war, I had learned that a third of the men of Hmong Lao, lost, they lost their lives, a third of that population in that war. That we didn't know. These are facts that are important. And then leaving to go to Thailand and then to the United States and to see the tremendous ability to start a business in Eau Claire and grow it in Madison and put a name that's known all through the state that's something that we need to translate because right now there are young grade school kids that just see their fellow Hmong students and not realize what their grandparents went through to get to the United States. So that's not what a mission that I have been on as well in the assembly. But a situation like this with such an honored past and service needs to be recognized by the state of Wisconsin and with a state of Wisconsin citation that uh, we put together and signed by the governor. And let me read this to you. Celebrating the life and service of Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Yang. Whereas Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Yang was born on September 30th, 1948 in Laos, 
to parents Nia Pauliang and Tu Cha. If I mispronounce, I apologize. Whereas Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Yang served with honor and distinction during the Vietnam War and the Secret War in Laos. He was recruited by the Central Intelligence Agency and served in the Army Service Guerrilla Unit where he fought with bravery alongside fellow Hmong, American, and South Vietnamese soldiers. And whereas Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Yang defended democracy, the ideals of independence, and the freedom of his fellow countrymen in Laos from 1961 to 1975, where he served under the great General Vang Pao, and together with their fellow brothers and sisters in arms, they fought with courage and valiance against the scourges of communism in the hopes of a better life for their families and children. And whereas Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Van Yang immigrated to the United States in 1986 and has served as a pillar of the Hmong community in this country, serving in several different capacities to assist those in need, help preserve the Hmong culture, and teach the younger generations about the blessings of life and the importance of freedom. And whereas Second Lieutenant Shua Tong Yang was married to Ming Zhang, and together they have eight children and 25 grandchildren, and his family and the Hmong community mourn his passing from our world. He was a, a soldier, a community leader, husband, father, grandfather, who loved his family and always hoped for a better tomorrow for the Hmong community. Now let it therefore be resolved that Governor Tony Evers, Senator Corey Tomczyk, and Representative Patrick